Hello, I'm David from the Teams Toolkit team. Today we're going to see how to create a declarative agent that first going to do API calls using API plugins and then take those data and send that to a new capability named the code interpreter that's going to generate graphics using Pythons uh, and send back the image to, to the chat. So I've created this new declarative agent there and you have, you know, various conversation starter. So I would like to be in the interesting into the Microsoft stock value. So I'm going to ask to uh, copilot to give me the latest you know uh, stock values you can see that is going to call my api uh, and he managed to understand that two weeks means from this date to this specific date so i'm going to allow the call to the api so now you see that i've got like uh, the value in a table which is really great so this is something you probably already know uh, in a, uh, as a way to invoke an api to create a declarative agent the new feature that's currently uh, rolling out um, in our various tenant is the ability to draw a chart from those data so what the orchestrator is going to understand you see that's going to execute this task is okay you want me to uh, take those data and create a, uh, you know, a graphics out of that. Uh, so what is currently doing is to going to generate some code, so some Python code, and execute that in a specific context, generate an image, and send that back to us. So we should be able to see the, the outcome uh, in, in seconds. So let's wait for, uh, for it to, 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 to finish. So now it's going to execute the code, and now here it is. I've got, you know, um, the Microsoft stock value from, you know, the, in the tool last week. I can even, you know, modify that, like uh, uh, use uh, a green dash line and add a yellow smiley, for instance, using basic uh, geometric primitive. So this is fun, so you should change the graphics. So you see that I am able to provide instructions uh, that going to modify the image. And then, of course, you will be able to take the image and, and share that, you know, um, with your colleague, with your friends. So um, what's really interesting is that you're currently, you know, um, asking the, the copilot to understand your intent, transform that into code execute the code and return that uh, to you while using information available through your API. So you see it managed to, to change the graphics and, and uh, the smiley probably need to be placed at the center. I should have been more precise. So now that we had fun with this uh, declarative agents, let's see how to create that. So first you, you need an API, of course. So in my case, something that was very uh, fun to while I was building it was to find a public API uh, giving me the stocks. And I found this one that seems to be what I wanted to do. Uh, so you need to create a, a specific, uh, you know, key for you, a free key. But, you know, rather than spending time to find an, an open API descriptor, what I did is I directly asked to Copilot there, uh, can you analyze this documentation and extract the open API descriptor. So this is what I did there, you see, so to save some time. And it managed pretty well to generate the open API descriptor that I simply copy paste there inside, uh, you know, uh, the Swagger uh, uh, page. So I copy paste the open descriptor uh, there. And I was able to quickly uh, give it a try uh, using the um, the you know the, the api call so once you have this open api descriptor so you can use either copilot in your browser or github copilot i tried the same it was able to generate a very accurate open api descriptor that then copy paste into visual studio code you need to go in vs code to create you know a, a new application and then you're going simply to provide the open api descriptor so let's do that together creating an agent, declarative agent. So I'm going to add a plugin. I've got an existing, uh, you know, uh, descriptor. So I'm going to browse um, and find it. So it's currently there. So this is a file that, uh, you know, was generated by <laughs> Copilot. So I'm using uh, GenAI to discuss with GenAI, in a way, which is pretty fun. So uh, I'm using this specific function, um, what's going to be named, like it's going to be uh, stock ttk demo. 
capabilities. So it's going to scaffold everything. And what you need to do after that uh, is, of course, to uh, to check that everything was, uh, you know, a scaffold uh, as expected. So you can see that, uh, yes, uh, I was able to have everything I wanted. Um, I'm not interested in my case to have um, the static template, you know, so um, I remove it from the code. I'm going to show you the final code. So you need to remove that. Uh, you're not uh, really interested into that. Then what you need to do is to um, check that the declarative agent, you know, got the proper name, the proper icon. So the conversation, you need to change the conversation starter there. So this is something that you need to do. And the instructions, of course, by default, the instructions are uh, pretty, you know, generic. So you need to work on that. So I already did that in my project. So let's switch to that and see how it works. So the way I did it in my um, in my instruction, I was explaining to the orchestrator, you know, to copilot, that you're going to be a declarative agent that can do two different tasks. One is to search for a specific stock value. Um, using the function get time series, and then you're also a code interpreter, like you're going to assist uh, um, the user to generate Python code and execute that. And if you are asked to, you know, to draw graphics uh, um, using those data, please use the code interpreter and and return me the image. So trying to discuss with the AI on how it should uh, behave as usual, and then. The new feature that you need to inject to make it work uh, inside the uh, declarative agent manifest is these specific capabilities that we can see there. So you just need to add this uh, um, capability there, code interpreter, and it will enable the, the, the feature by default when you will silo it. So you need, of course, to enable this capability, but also um, you know clarify its usage using the instructions. And then you can see my uh, two conversation starter. So <laughs> I'm interested in everything related to AI. AI so of course, NVIDIA and Microsoft. Um, and this is basically it. Then, uh, you know, inside my um, uh, manifest, I was just uh, removing the, uh, the adaptive card. I was trying to help the LLM to understand my intents. And I also created this uh, beautiful icon using, of course, DALI and Gen AI. So you see that using all the current AI tool for you, you can create uh, in an easy way a declarative agent using Teams Toolkit um, to be able to then uh, have this uh, stock uh, declarative agent available for you. So you will be able to have uh, access to the repo of the source code on my GitHub uh, in the, in the uh, comment section of this video. So feel free to have a look. And if you've got any question, feel free to reach us. You know, you can contact our team uh, in an easy way on Twitter, or you can contact me uh, just below this video if you've got any question. Thank you and see you soon.